No one understands. They all think I'm a lucky man. Truth is, I'm in a rut. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look is on this fall appropriate makeup look. I guess you could use it all year round. I just feel like it's got a lot of the fall colours interpreted, interpreted, incorporated into it. I can't talk today. I use a few different products than I usually do today so there's a little bit of extra something in there for you guys. It is a full face tutorial so I do go through from beginning to end on my full kind of makeup routine. It is more glam than, like I've been doing more natural bases and stuff lately. I thought I'd do a bit more full glam today, which I'm really digging. Like this blush, this highlight, this full foundation base. Like guys, I'm loving life. So if you guys would like to see how I got this makeup look, then please make sure to continue watching. Oh, by the way, before you leave, make sure you like and subscribe down below so you guys can join my YouTube fam and keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. Otherwise, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Hope you enjoy. Okay, guys, so first of all, I'm going to start off with the skin first because this is a full glam look. I'm feeling that it's going to be like, even though it's going to be quite glam eyes, I do want to focus on the skin. So just grab any primer you guys prefer. I'm going to be using something that's going to help minimize my oils because I am quite an oily skin girl and it's a million degrees today. Even though most of you guys are heading into fall, we're heading into summer and it's like <laughs> so hot today. So I'm feeling a little bit flushed, a little bit oily, so I want to kind of minimize that. So first of all, I'm going to be taking my 100% pure mattifying primer full of antioxidants and vitamins all good for the skin I'm just going to do one pump of this and just apply it over the areas that I feel like I need it just kind of over my like t-zone area where I can tend to get the most oily and then I just kind of smear it out everywhere else it's also good because I do have quite sensitive skin it's fantastic on not aggravating it because it is quite a natural primer it doesn't have all that other nasty stuff in it so if you guys do have sensitive skin like me I do recommend the 100% pure kind of brand they are really good on kind of going make like creating makeup products that are good to cover imperfections but don't give you more like don't make you break out kind of thing don't know what we song to get to that point but yeah so for foundation today I'm going to take my Milani conceal and perfect 2 in 1 foundation it's in the shade medium beige. I really like this foundation because it keeps me matte throughout the day as well. Like I don't get super oily and everything. It's a or full to medium coverage so you can build it up to a full coverage and keep it to like more medium coverage if you like. Especially because like with autumn makeup you can go a bit more glam, a bit more fuller on the face because it's not so uncomfortable. You're not in the heat sweating it out. Um, so you can go a bit more glam, a bit more full. So I like to use this one. I've been enjoying using like a foundation brush more so than like a beauty sponge lately just because it feel, I feel like it just gives more coverage. My beauty sponges usually soak up a fair bit of the product. So I've just been using my Sigma F80 Kabuki again. I go through phases like let's be real. I'll go in and out of phases between my beauty sponge and my Kabukis. Next up for concealer I'm going to take my LA Girl um, concealer in the shade creamy beige I think it is and with the concealer I'm going to apply it under the eyes center of the face and conceal any breakouts that I have anything like that I also like to go just under the cheekbones to give a bit more definition there for later when we bronze and contour and everything like that just got a bit of like a highlight there so it'll really like chisels them out and then I'll just grab my F86 Kabuki from Sigma and just start blending out the concealer. I love getting to like this point of the eye and kind of blending it up just because it lifts the face a bit more rather than just kind of blending it out to point here. I always go a bit beyond and just lift it up. So there's all these little subtle tips and tricks to give a bit more lift to the face and make it look more awake and alive. And I always leave my nose for last because it sets in the longest. It keeps that like straight line kind of in place long. Like it just sets it in 
more in place so that when I do buff it out it's still kind of set there so it won't move around too much and there we go so before I move on with like powders and stuff I want to first of all use a cream bronzer I just find it looks the most natural on the skin and it just sits so beautifully so I'm going to take my Hoola Quickie Contour Stick from Benefit and with this I'm just going to contour the perimeters of my face so my cheeks, forehead, nose, chin, jawline, all that good stuff and then you can just buff it in you can use a beauty blender brush whatever you feel more comfortable with um i just find that whatever i've used my foundation to like buff in my foundation with i'll just use that to buff in my creams and everything like that just easier and usually you'll know in my previous tutorials like i always did that whole like nose sorry the like sun kiss feel on the nose but i don't know for autumn i'd rather it be more, a bit more structured and like I said, glamified. We're kind of throwing natural out the window here. <laughs> and just buff it in on the nose as well. So I'm kind of like contouring as well as bronzing up here. There we go. Every time I do that. There we go. There we go. So next is the powders to kind of set all like the concealer and like bronzer and everything in. So first of all, I'm going to take my Glips Blur Powder in the shade 21 and just like set anywhere that I place concealer down kind of like press it in with a powder puff I like to do that rather than just like straight up bake I just find that's too drying on my skin I don't like how it, I just don't like the finish of it especially with this blur powder it kind of blurs your pores if you just allow it to like press into the skin I find that's the best technique in using it and then bring it under the jawline the jawline the contour where you place that highlight like the concealer down before just to accentuate that chiseled like cheekbone a little bit more bring it down the bridge like, like I said anywhere I've placed concealer down I'll place down this eclipse powder because it also just helps keep me matte throughout the day as well plus I find this technique of just like kind of pushing it under the eyes like setting it helps keep them from creasing like it's the most effective way to keep them like the concealer in place like it won't budge it won't move like I've tried different things like lightly setting it dusting it baking it I just find like pushing the product into the skin is the most effective for me and I also press it over my pore areas to blur those so that they don't look so accentuated so before I move on to like powder bronzer and stuff I think I might do my brows first just because they just look so undone like I just I keep looking at them in the viewfinder and going ugh like mm. so I'm just going to quickly do those and I'll be back to do the rest of the face the face isn't life just so much more complete with the brows on like I actually took my time today like this never happens usually it's like a chore for me I'm just like bam bam just chuck it on but today I actually took my time and I'm, I'm impressed. I've outdone myself. Like, <laughs> So now that I've done my brows, we can move on with like the rest of the face. I think I'll just do my bronzer and then move on with like the eyes. And then finish off with like the blush, lipstick, highlight, stuff like that. So in saying that, I'm going to use a different bronzing palette today than my usual Barbados Babe one. So I'm going to take my NYX Contour and Highlight Kit and I'm using the shade, what is it, shade tan and I might even mix it with a bit of like the caramel shade, toffee. So I'm going to take those two shades and just kind of like go to town. And I like to focus it towards like the more back end of my cheekbones um, to really chisel out my face especially for like autumn where you just want to look really structured. And just bring it around the perimeters. This brush is so good to bronze. It's my Chi Chi bronzer brush. It just gets to all the little nooks and crannies so easily and it spreads the product out so evenly rather than it just being super duper patchy. I choose my utensils wisely. And then I'll just grab a little bit of the tan shade and just lightly dust that over the cream bronzer on my nose as well. Really weak on my nose. Okay, now let's move in with the eyes and then we can go back to the rest of the face. So I have a look in mind, but I don't know. I think it's gonna be like a few palettes, like it's not set to just the one palette like I have been doing in my recent tutorials. So you just have to find shades that are similar in your collection to try try and kind of recreate it if you'd like. 
But first of all, I'm going to prime my eyes. So I'm just going to take my MAC Paintly, no, not Paintly, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And just apply that a light layer of that to my eyelids. All the way up to the brow bone. So for the first shade that we're going to apply, I'm going to take Aftertaste from my Caramel Melange palette. And I'm just going to place that from outer corner and through the crease. And I'm actually using a more petite crease brush to do, to do this rather than my usual like start really fluffy and work in to a more dense brush. I'm actually starting off with a more dense brush and then I'm going to work out. And with this colour you want to make sure that you do, you're building it up slowly and blending it out. So just take your time building up the colour a little bit at a time and then just slowly using little circular motions, little back and forth motions in the crease to blend it out softly. I want it to be super pigmented right on the outer corner so I'm kind of leaving it a little bit more harsh at the moment but definitely through that crease it is really softly, softly blended. Next for like the lid shade I'm going to take Creamsicle from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and place that right on top of the lid. And I want it to be more of just a light wash rather than super, like super uber pigmented. So I'm just using a classic shader brush from Zoeva to apply it on, just like I said, just a little light wash of it. And then just going back in with some of that, what was it, orangey shade. Just blending it into creamsicle. And then just to buff out some of the edges of that orange shade as well, I'm taking Silk Cream and Made for each other and just going to place that on the outer edges. Next to give it more of like a, like the autumn vibes vibe is what I'm going for, a nice deep outer corner. I'm going to take a few different shades, like a little concoction. So we're going to first of all dip into Jax from the Jaclyn Hill palette and mix it in a, bit, a, a little bit with Chip. Then I'm also going to dip into the Poison Plum shade from my Sugar Pill palette. It's like a deep plummy purple. So I want to kind of create like a deep wine-ish almost purple tone shade and I'm going to place that on the very outer corner of my eye and I'll take some of the orangey shade to buff it out a little bit I like to keep my eye open a little bit as I'm doing this so like I'll push it in but then when I'm starting to blend out I always keep the eye open so I know what it looks like or what it's going to look like um, when my eyes are open rather than having it closed and not really having much of an idea you can see just where to blend it out where it'll be most flattering <laughs> I love these three shadows together they're so pretty Ooh. back in again with some of that orange shade and that's kind of like the blend that I'm actually happy with so I'll go in and move on with eyeliner so basically I'm just going to do a casual wing guys, nothing too fancy. So I'm taking my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Eyeliner and just going to pop that baby straight on. So now that I've got my wings on I'm going to quickly apply some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. I'm not sure what lashes I'll use yet so I'll get back to you on that one. So the lashes I went in with today are the Anitude Lashes in the style Feisty. So they're longer on the outer corner, shorter, shorter on the inner corner. And they just really complement the eye look. So moving on, I'm going to go on with the bottom lash line. I don't think I'll put anything in my tight line or waterline today. I think I'll keep it pretty simple. So for the bottom waterline, I'm going to just kind of continue what's going on on the lid down onto the bottom lower of the bottom lash line. So taking Aftertaste from my Caramel Melange palette, that really like vibrant orange. I'm just going to slowly buff that um, starting from the outer corner and just bringing that slowly in towards the inner corner about two thirds of the way across. And then taking Creamsicle again, I'm just going to buff out that aftertaste shade. And then taking aftertaste and really just with whatever's on the brush just kind of smudging that tightly against the lash line, just like that. 
And then mixing two like shimmery shades, I'm taking Almost Burnt from the Caramel Melange palette and taking Queen from my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm going to place those two kind of golden shades right at the tear duct area of my bottom lash line. And for my brow bone and kind of in corner highlight, I'm going to take my highlighter from Maybelline in the shade Molten Gold. It's one of the um, Master Chrome highlighters. And I place that on my inner corner and brow bone. So that's the eyes done. I've to finish the to finish off the rest of the face. I think I might do like a similar kind of blush highlight tone. I'm thinking like more of like a rosy tones. So I'm going to take from the Aspen Ovard palette the blush, which is called Meiji Blush. Um, and place that on like the more contours of my cheeks, cheeks rather than the apples. I feel like apples is very flattering for like summertime, but in autumn, fall time, I'd rather do it on like the cheekbone area. Mm, that is actually such a pretty blush. It's very like muted rosy tone. Really, really nice. Real nice. And for the highlight, I'm going to take the same highlight from the palette. It's the Pure Soul shade, and I'm going to place that on like the cheekbones like Cupid's bow, all the high points of the face. So for the lips, I first of all line them with my eye cult from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso. And then I went over the top with my liquid lipstick from Zoeva in the shade Clear Message, which is kind of like a kind of muted brown tone, I would say. So it ties in well with the eyes. And this here is the finished makeup look, guys. So I hope you guys got a lot out of today's tutorial, got a few tips, got a few tricks. Make sure to leave your comments down below of what you thought of the look, if you have any more requests that you'd like to see, any autumn looks, any summer looks, whichever part of the hemisphere that you're on, let me know and I can recreate or create a look that you'd like. Otherwise guys, have an amazing week. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.